Okay, what I want to do now is um, something not really related to Drupal. Um, I just want to go ahead and install Zen Framework. And the reason I want to do this is because I tried it yesterday and it took me um, a couple of hours and it turned out to be quite simple if you know what you're doing. So um, just a sort of reminder for myself and also a sort of introduction for anyone else who's also finding it um, a bit difficult. This is how you pretty much do a Zen Framework on Ubuntu or any sort of Debian-based distribution. Um, Anyway, there we go. I'm um, just giving myself super user privileges. Um, apt get install Zend framework. This is how much. This is how you you pretty much get the Zend framework up and running. Da -da -ding -ding. And once this has come up and running, I'll just go into Nautilus and um, have a look at where it is because you'll need to know where it is for later. Um, there are three things really you've got. You've got Zen, f you've, you've got the binary, you've got, um, you've got a script in Zen Framework and you've got Zen Framework Library. Um, essentially open the folder here and then go down to, where am I? Go to file system, then user lib, where is it? Um, uh, wherever PHP is. See, so this is the tricky bit, trying to find this. PHP 5, it's under here. And it's not under there at all. It's under PHP, which is under uh, user share PHP. This is what, see, this is the, the tricky bit, because you get so many different PHP things here, there, and everywhere. Is it is the PHP 5 or PHP? Yeah, there you go. That's what we want. That's that's our, our library. So sort of have a an idea about where that is. Um, there are also other ones in the binary thing. There's a binary in the in the, in the binary thing, obviously. Um, don't really worry too much about that now. Anyway, that's there. That took a while to find. I'm gonna go to through to CD uh, public HTML, and we've got the Drupal stuff from earlier. I'm going to make make a directory and call it um, Delta, just because I've got a thing for for Greek letters. Anyway, CD Delta, Delta, and we're going to create ZF, ZF create project. Enter a name and it's going to be home Simon public HTML then Delta. And that should do it. Just have a look now. Right, so here we go. We got all our bits and pieces from our, our little Zen Framework application. Now, the reason I did that thing earlier of trying to find out where the Zen Framework library is, you need to copy this library. So we're going to copy that from where it is. User share PHP, lab Zen Framework PHP. Copy that, and then we're going to go up to uh, how are we going to do this? Yeah, we might as well just use use Nautilus. So go up to public HTML. Delta, and we want to go to the library here, and then it's not letting us do anything because we don't have root user permissions. So what I'm going to do is close that there, and then just do Nautilus here. Program Nautilus? No, not Nautilus. We're going to do Thunar because we're not working in GNOME. We're now working in XFCE. Um, yeah, kind of. This is a little bit roundabout, but as you can see, it's why it got so confusing yesterday. Um, then where was I? Was it lib? Then uh, PHP 5. No, I got it wrong again. It's user share, not library. Uh, I got so confused yesterday. This is why I'm doing it now. Just so I... Not PHP 5. PHP. Ah, uh, here we go. Yes, yes, here we go. It's confusing, but we'll get there in the end. Um, home, Simon, public HTML, Delta library, right, paste that there. So we got our Zend library there. Now it's the public, that's the root essentially that we're going through, that's our index PHP. So if we go up here, what's going on now? What's wrong with my Firefox? Don't scare me. Um, yeah, if we go up here, just localhost, uh, then public HTML, then Delta, and public wasn't it there we go we got our zen framework through there 
Uh, now, one thing you could do is you could set up a virtual host, which is what they're going to do. And quite nice and appropriately, it gives us a little thing there in, in the um, the thing. It gives us a, a virtual host here. So we're just going to copy that, copy that, and we might as well just keep on using Nautilus thing as we're here. Etsy, uh, Apache 2, uh, sites available, create documents, empty file, call it del delta, and we're just going to take that stuff through and paste it there. Um, Delta.local, yeah, that sounds okay, actually, I'm going to call that delta.org, no, I'll call it delta. it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter what you call it, I'm going to call it delta.org just because I, I feel like a little bit, no, it doesn't need ah whatever there we go call it that keep it as is um i think everything else is okay um yeah the only other thing we need to do now is close that off and go back to etsy and look for the hosts see i've never actually done that it, it, it gets weird sometimes when you do things like you've been doing in the command line there we go there's hosts open that and edit and one two Seven. Sorry, the microphone's getting in the way, so I can't see the keyboard. And just call that delta dot org. So save that. Close that. We're going to close down Thuna. It's not Nautilus. It's Thuna, isn't it? Because we're a different thing. And a two n site delta service Apache two reload. It doesn't really matter because we've we've got the thing done anyway. And did I put delta.org or delta.local? I did delta. Oh, God. I'm going mad. Um, G edit Etsy hosts fingers and thumbs. Why is it that some things are just. No, delta.local. That's what it should be. Save that there. And then we'll go through here. And delta.local. It's the same thing. It just gives us a um a virtual host. So all I'm doing is is spending an extra couple of minutes just wasting time and being pedantic. Um. So here, uh, the, the, yeah, that's it. Zen framework. Um. It's installed just for anyone else that, like me, spent has spent several hours, perhaps even several days or weeks or months or years, trying to figure out how to work out Zen framework on an Ubuntu system. That's how you do it. Um. And it's in. And now I just need to figure out what to do with it.